last week here. So today, since I am in Korea, I am going to go to Jamsho Toys R Us and go toy shopping, um, toy hunting. I am curious to see what other new toys are out. There are several toys that I've been kind of eyeing on since I was in the United States, so I'm going to get my hands on those as well. You guys, follow me on my Korean toy hunting adventure. Let's go! Here we are, and here is Toys R Us in Jamsho, Korea. And you can see the Toys R Us sign and they have some rides here and of course the first thing I see is the inside out toys so I'm going to go through these gates and explore the inside. In this corner it seems like they have minimalized um, Power Ranger toys so they have the T-Rex um, King here. This one actually looks really cool. It's got the mask and you know the gun and all, all, like some of the armor pieces. It looks really cool. Looking at some Pororo stuff, um, so they have the Mart play bag right here. They also have the ambulance one, and I think this is, um, I'm not too sure, like a whack-a-mole kind of thing. And they also have this kitchen set, which I really want to get this set, but it's huge. So I feel like if I get this one, it's going to take a majority of my room in my um, luggage. So I think I'm going to settle for this one. I think it's really cute. I can't wait to review this now. More Pororo stuff here. Um, oh, that is so cute. That's Pororo house. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it, it's so big. But if I had the time to actually visit a post office, I would actually get this and like ship it to me. But you know what? Maybe when I go to um, when I go back, maybe I'll try to order it on eBay or something because that does look really amazing. What else do they have? They have Pororo figures here too. Oh, they're so cute. Well, I was actually taking a closer look at this and I realized that um, I thought little figures would come in, but no, it comes with like all these um, like doctor tools, like the stethoscope and things like that. But I decided instead of getting this, I'm going to get this instead, which is Pororo police car because it comes with Chrome and Pororo. This one is really adorable. So yeah, I think I'm going to switch. Yep, I think that's a better decision here. These are like toddler toys. Ooh, they have um, a Polly stuff here. Robot car Polly. And Play Doh. Do they have any different Play Doh from us? Um, it does not look like it. Even though I don't think I have seen this one before. Oh, this is pretty cool. I've never heard of this before. Um, this is called Color Dough. So I guess it's kind of like Play-Doh in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's got a birthday cake. Um, what is this? Is this like making lar larva? That is pretty cool. Huh, I will have to try one of these, definitely. Oh, and you can also make fruits and vegetables here too. And then there's a hamburger set. And this one right here is a dessert set. Huh. Guys, I found something pretty cool. I don't know what's going on with this. But I guess you play with paper in a different way. And then this one, you can actually draw on the plushie. And apparently you can actually wash it with water. Hmm. So I'm debating between bunny and bear. Bunny and bear, but I'm leaning closer to the bunny. You can actually make spaghetti, which I don't really understand because spaghetti actually has um, like white noodle, right? Like yellow noodle, and then you put pasta sauce on it. So why is the noodle red already? But anyway, um, so there's the spaghetti set, and then there's the cupcake set, there's a cookie set, there's a hamburger set, there's the ice cream um, refrigerator. I actually want to get all of these, and look! And then there's the kitchen set. I want all of them, but Obviously, I can't take all of them, so I'll have to kind of compromise. Uh, I'll have to decide on one. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> guys, we have a familiar face. Do you guys remember this set? I actually reviewed this one um, not so long ago. And then they also have these, which I saw the last time when I was in Korea. Um, I would love to get them, but my cart is getting filled. I'm kind of hoping to find the squirrel one because they have the squirrel version of this one. It would be really awesome if I can find it here. 
And these look really amazing too. These are called whipping art. And um, it looks like you can actually create little miniatures with them. They're quite pricey though, I won't lie. They're quite pricey. They have the spoon pets here. I saw these last time when I was here too. And then they have the My Little Pony toys here, which is a very small section, which is so weird to see because I'm so used to seeing so many My Little Ponies. And then they also have the Baby Rabbit, which I'm kind of tempted to get, but I'm going to walk around a little bit. The funny thing is I've only walked around a quarter of this store and my cart is already getting filled because I just purchased big boxes so far. Guys, it's official. Korea's got Shopkins too, but they don't have season two. They have season one. <gasps> and they actually have Korean on their packaging. That's pretty cool. And here, they have some more baby dolls. This is pretty cool. I really did not expect to see Shopkins here, but this is pretty cool. Tori Tori! Oh, uh, this is another doll that I actually wanted to get, um, and I was going to get them, but I did not realize how large the playsets are. The boxes, I don't know if you can tell, but they're really huge. There's no way I'm going to fit them into my suitcase, so I guess I'll just either order them or like get them when I come back next year and then just ship it to me. Now we're in the robot section, and these are called Hello Carbot. They look very similar to Tobot. I do want to find some Tobot stuff though. And we have Tobot! Oh, we have the little figurines. You know what this reminds me? There was a set that I thought was really awesome. Oh, let me see if I can find it. No, I don't see it. Bike lawns? Hmm. This is a Tobot play set. Yes, they're starting to get Funko Pops here. They have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and some of the earlier ones, um, as well as the Avengers Age of Ultron ones as well. It's pretty cool to see all these things getting imported in here now. So the Monster High section is yay small. Remember, it was like so weird to see My Little Pony section so small too, but to see Monster High section so small too, it's like weird. So they have um, Draculaura's Draculocker, and they have the vinyl collectibles here. They have the vinyl collectibles here, and then they have some of the fashion packs there. And of course, next to them is the Barbie section. And then you can also see some of the Korean dolls right behind. These are the little Mimi dolls. And this is, oh see, that's the little Mimi right there. And this is the regular Mimi. They have the classic ones. And then they also have the Korean traditional dress wearing one. The humble wearing ones. There's another one right there. Look at this gigantic um, rabbit of Sylvanian families or um, calico critters. I think I need a picture. I think it's a um, photo op booth right here. They also have another one right there with Mimi, which will make you feel like a princess, but I think I prefer this one. Here we have the board game section, and I have something that I really want to get. This bulldog. So like you're supposed to test out your luck, you're supposed to press down on the teeth and hopefully they don't bite. So I'm going to get one of these. Um, there's the bulldog one, there's the alligator one, but I think I like the bulldog one better. So I'm going to get the bulldog. <gasps> Guys, what is this? Moving, moving? Oh my goodness, they have like so many Pixar characters. They have Sully, they have Mike Wazowski, it's this I think this is Bugs Life. And then they have Alien, they have all the characters or oh my gosh, the Wally one is so adorable. <gasps> I need some of these. Oh my goodness, yeah, they are really cute. That's right, Power Ranger. Power Ranger Train Force. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. 
Yokai watch. It's everywhere. It's super popular in Korea, guys. My cousin told me though, it's kind of dying down a little bit. And of course, they have some Gundams. Oh. I don't think the display case has changed much though. It looks about the same. I have Gundams here. And some other figures on the other side, right here. See, they have one piece. Um, Yokai watch figures. Keroro. More here. <laughs> and masks. And the Simpsons are in Korea. Not many different kinds, but they do have some different ones here. The earlier designs. Looks like it's a lot, but number wise, I didn't put a lot, but it's just these have just big boxes. But I'm really excited to reveal all of these for you guys. Whew, I can't wait to come back to Korea because there are several other ones that I really want to get, but I have to hold myself back because you know this trip was kind of unplanned or it was like planned last minute. So yeah, but I'm really happy with the things I picked out. So it's the next morning and um, you can probably tell in my voice that I'm not fully awake so I won't be showing my face but I realized while I was editing the video that um, I forgot to show you the things I got so I got this one with the dessert set and then um, this spaghetti making set and then this doll where you actually draw on the doll um, this Wally moving moving and this bulldog game thingy and the last one I got is the cupcake cooking kit. So yeah, those are all the things I got from Toys R Us. Like I said, not too many in numbers, but um, they're quite big. The boxes are quite big, so I have to play a little bit of puzzling around um, to fit them into my suitcase. Anyway, that's it for today's toy hunt. Um, I will be back with more toy videos. I'm so sorry I can't show my face to say goodbye, but I just woke up, like I said. So I'll be back with more toy videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.